When Nancy asked me to speak tonight, I was honored, scared, and filled with joy to share our family's journey and give you a glimpse of what cystinosis brings to our family. We dreamed of a family, and in 2009, that became a reality. I remember standing in the dining room and saying, I'm pregnant, followed by the great news. I went out and purchased every how to, how not to do, and what to expect book. In all the books I read, I never came across a section on how to prepare for a sick kid with a rare disease, and there was definitely not a section on how to share our story. July 5th marks our three-year anniversary of life with cystinosis, a day we try very hard never to think about. After months of us telling our doctors something was not right with Olivia, our voice was finally heard. After Olivia lied on the hospital bed, almost dead, her kidneys had shut down and we were being rushed into a helicopter to get to the closest sick kids hospital. One round of hemodialysis and a blood transfusion later, we were out of ICU. What a relief. We were moved to the pediatric floor after a week and a half of blood tests, ultrasounds, x-rays, x -rays, and the random, po random poking and prodding, our team has narrowed it down. Dr. Filler came in the room on Tuesday morning announcing we will head over to see an ophthalmologist to rule out the rare genetic disease called Sista something. Honestly, we didn't even listen to him because of course there is no way our baby has a disease. Our ophthalmologist comes in, introduces herself, has one look into Olivia's precious blue eyes, and without hesitation she announced she has crystals. We had no idea what this meant, but we were devastated. After three more stressful weeks of hospitalization, Olivia was finally strong enough to come home. We left the hospital with a laundry list of medication, supplements, bags of syringes, and a binder full of information on how to ensure we were doing things right. Our life was turned upside down. Today, life is pretty good and we live a pretty normal life. Our normal is just a little different. Our house runs like most parents of a four and a half year old and 10 month old. We mind our manners, play, get messy, have many times out, and have a list of words we aren't supposed to say. And when I say we, I mean the kids. Two words that come to mind are can't and hate. If Olivia hears you say these words, she will remind you they are bad words and she will demand an apology for doing so. Thankfully, Olivia is off enjoying a movie with the other children tonight. So I'm going to use one of those words. But before I do that, I must tell you what a beautiful girl Olivia is. She is strong-willed, busy, creative little princess who loves the color purple, playing in the garage, getting dirty. She loves books. She's the best big sister to Harper. She gives the best hugs and she has cystinosis. Most days are like everyone else's and cystinosis only happens four times a day, 1 a.m., 7 a.m., 1 p.m., and 7 p.m. Those are the awesome days. The other days, cystinosis seemed to happen all day long. It started at 6 a.m. It was wake-up time, and as I approached Olivia's room, I heard, Mommy, my tummy hurts. I already know that breakfast is going to be a battle. Calorie intake is so important for Olivia. She needs to get so many calories a day to maintain adequate weight and height. Meals aren't as bad as they used to be. Olivia has turned around 110% during mealtimes and actually has a handful of foods she will eat. I'm always her short order chef, but on this particular morning, cystinosis won the battle. I hate cystinosis. Snack time rolls around and I know I'll win this round because she's hungry. So calorie packed muffins, here we go. Three quarters of the way through snack, the front door opens and a polite good morning is spoken. It's Leanne, the world's best nurse. She's here for Olivia's monthly RNS shot. It's a shot she receives to increase, increase the blood product production of red blood cells. We are so grateful that a nurse comes to do this job for us. Tears begin to trickle down Olivia's face, anticipating the pain. The brand new box of Mickey Mouse Band-Aids don't even earn a smile. We pin her down, seconds feel like hours, it's over. Band-Aid applied, and an episode of Doc McStuffins makes the tears disappear. I hate cystinosis. Every Thursday we have a play date with a family friend. The girls run, play, and make a mess. After two hours of intense play, I remind Olivia to drink some water as she's been running a mini marathon around the house. With the saddest face and softest voice, she says, Mom, if I drink water, then I will have to go potty all the time and miss playing with my friends. My heart breaks. I hate cystinosis. 
Nap is followed by lunch. We read our nap time story. Today's choice was giraffes can't dance. Olivia still has to wear diapers at nap time due to the amount of water she drinks. Nap time water intake is generally 24 ounces. Olivia desperately wants to transition to wearing big girl undies at bedtime. And every day when she wakes up, so from the chest down, she says to me, maybe tomorrow I'll do better, mommy. My heart breaks because I'm so proud and sad. I hate sismosis. The remainder of the day unfolds nicely. All of Olivia's daycare friends go home. Dinner is served, bath time Madison veils, and she's tucked in by the best story in the world, Dada. The words I love you and see you in the morning carry throughout the house. Chad and I attend to our weekly preparation of Olivia's medications. We pull 308 syringes for the week. As we sit and share the happenings of our day, our conversation comes to a halt when we hear Olivia crying. When we get to her room, blood is pouring out of her nose. This is a side effect that she gets from her monthly injection. The nosebleeds last anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the cooperation we get from Olivia. Tonight, she was easy going, and it was over in 15 minutes. A quick change of linens and pajamas, all is over. I hate cystinosis. This is a day when cystinosis won. Now I'm going to contradict everything I said, but let me first explain. In our house, instead of saying grace at mealtimes, we all share three things we are grateful for. Most often, Olivia is grateful for her toys and on extra special days, mom, dad, and Harper are on her list. Tonight, Chad and I are grateful for cystinosis. It has made us strong people, better parents, and we have met a lot of wonderful people along the way. We are grateful for you, everyone sitting in this room. You are making a difference for Olivia and every other cystinosis patient. You give us hope and inspiration to continue to fight. You are here another year to help our children, and for that we will be forever grateful. And last, we are grateful for Nancy and Jeff Stack for their dedication to find better treatments and ultimately a cure for cystinosis. Cystinosis is not forever, but the connections along the way are. Thank you for all. Thank you all for opening your hearts to our story. We will be forever grateful.